Businesses covered with these pot plant signs, and customers say their products help them with their health. But the business owner says the building is not a marijuana dispensary. In fact, he says it doesn't have to do with pot at all. Channel 9's Sarah Beth Ackerman spoke with the business owner about why some customers are grabbing his product off the shelves. Johnny Morano, the co-owner of FLA 420 Daytona, says this little bottle of hemp oil is doing wonders for his customers. This is basically hemp extract, CBD additive, and it is uh, a supplement. Morano claims a few drops of this and it gives you all the medicinal benefits of what the THC flower would do without getting you high. Not only at this location do they have CBD infused gummies, but they also have vape pens. But the biggest seller is this oil right here, and the average customer is between the age of 35 and 70. Everything you see here does not have THC in it, which is the chemical found in marijuana. People who have generative back problems or people who have Crohn's disease, I'm not saying that this cures any of that. I cannot say that. That is not what I'm saying. All I'm saying is that people are taking it with these problems and are telling me that it's helping them. That small one milliliter will run you $13, and the 12 milliliters will cost you $99. You don't need a doctor's note to get this product. We don't prescribe. We don't diagnose. I'm not making any claims that this is curing anything. I'm just telling you what people are telling me. They're coming in front of me and saying. One quick glance at the packaging and you'll notice the oils are not FDA approved. We reached out to the Daytona Beach Police and they told us, quote, they're looking into this shop and it's an open investigation. We spoke with Richard Bly, who represents dispensaries across the state and says, quote, companies should be careful about commercializing CBD because the policy is not clear between the state and federal governments. Reporting in Daytona Beach, I'm Sarah Thackerman, Channel 9 Eyewitness News. The owners tell us they would like to open other shops like in New Smyrna Beach.